Hi everyone, I'm Chao from, <coughs> from the University of Science and Technology of China. I'm going to present the work, Mean Flow, High Performance and Cost Efficient Data Passing for Intensive Stateful Serverless Analytics. Serverless computing is an emerging cloud computing paradigm. Because serverless computing can achieve low operational overhead, fine grade pedagogical billing, and fast scaling, it has been embraced by many cloud service providers. As shown in the diagram below, serverless company framework separates computation and storage, utilizing containerized functions for computation, and the cloud storage typically has three for storage. In the area of big data, data analytics is a critical class of applications. As shown in the diagram, analytics jobs commonly adopt the BSP model, which comprises multiple stages of execution organized as the directed acyclic graphs based on their data dependencies, with each stage comprising several parallel tasks. The data passing between stages uses communication primitives. Among the primitives, the auto -out connection sharp operation is pivotal for serverless analytics. For example, more than 50% of analytics jobs at Facebook involve at least one shuffle. Serverless computing passes all data via remote storage, but sharp operation writes out in a lot of read and write requests to S3 due to auto -out connection. Furthermore, remote storage limits every request read to guarantee fairness and avoid interference among tenants, and it charges in increments of a single request. Therefore, the data passing severely impedes the elasticity and economy of serverless analytics. For example, and sorting workload with different configurations, up to 94% of the time is spent shuffling data, while the corresponding computation only takes 2% of job computation time. So the key issue for serverless analytics is how to improve the efficiency of data passing. Through our analysis of serverless analytics workflow, we found that the DAG topology, function scheduling, and the transmission media together decide the efficiency of data passing. Specifically, for DAG topology, the key issue is how to optimize the topology to reduce data passing requests. Second, for function scheduling, the key issue is how to decide the function scheduling plan to leverage all provisional local memory. Third, for transmission media, the key issue is how to build the high performance and cost efficient remote storage. There are some existing works to optimize the above issues, and I will briefly introduce them next. First, two level shuffle project functions into a two dimensional mesh and uses an out of communication primitive for vertical dimension and horizontal dimension, respectively, to realize the full exchange of data among functions. Since each request of two-level shuffle loads a larger volume of data, this, ab this approach can decrease the number of data passing requests. But this approach brings about multiplied extra data volume to be transferred due to the additional level and cannot extend to a general multi-level network aggregator. As depicted in the figure, the shuffle time of this approach may even be one point nine times that of baseline, which passes all data via S3. Second, shuffle via integral memory partitions the application DAG into subgraphs and schedule function in a subgraph to the same worker. Then, reclaim over provision memory in the workers to localize intra worker traffic. However, as cross work traffic dominates and can't not be accelerated, and the slower remote storage leads to the stragglers. So the performance gains from this approach for serverless analytics are limited. As depicted in the figure, this approach can only reduce the shuffle time by 9.94% and 11.39% compared to baseline and different configurations. Last, shuffleware private storage can best high-end and cheap remote storage media to achieve better trade-offs between performance and cost. But this approach still entails high costs. On the one hand, the high-end storage is expensive. On the other hand, 
The private storage must be mounted to the VMs for access, but the network bandwidth of VMs is limited, leading to a lot of instances being launched to improve performance. As shown in the figure, under a TerraSoft workload, the storage cost of this approach can be 13.5 times more expensive compared to baseline. In conclusion, existing approaches imply independent optimization in different components, resulting in performance or cost and easy will use degradation. On the contrary, our main idea is to optimize the DAG topology, function scheduling, and transmission media in a unified way. The following diagram shows the prototype framework. Uh, first, the topology optimizer constructs multi-level shuffle topology candidates to decrease the data passing time requests and make the topology sparse to facilitate scheduling. Second, function scheduler generates scheduling plan and optimized transmission media for each candidate topology to maximize traffic localization, balance load, and avoid stragglers. Finally, it outputs config candidates. Last, configuration modeler model configs to select the optimal one from config candidates. Next, I will go through the key designs of MinFlow in details. First, for topology optimizer, the key challenge is how to construct the complete multi-level network topology space. We propose the progressively converging multi-level shuffle to address this challenge. First, we divide functions in the function level i into GI groups. Suppose that the number of functions is n, the number of communication levels is l, then the g0 x n, g l x 1 and g i equals d i times g i plus 1, where d i is an integer greater than 1. The red figure shows a three-level shuffle network, where the number of functions is 8, the communication level is 3, and the function level 0, 1, 2, 3 are divided into 8, 4, 2, 1 groups, respectively. Second, we progressively converge groups until it becomes a group at the last function level. In this process, the function linking for each communication level needs to keep out all connection between the groups and its upstream mappers. For example, when we converging the group C10 and C11 in the purple rectangle into the group C20 in the yellow rectangle, we need to keep out all connection between the function in the yellow rectangle with its upstream in the red rectangle. On the other hand, the data passing shuts data into continuous and equal-sized paths, then orderly assigns them to receive function. For example, the function 0, 0 shuts its data continuously and equally, then passes them to function 1, 0 and function 1, 1. Finally, we can ensure out all connection between mappers and reducers. Generating execution plans for all topologies will incur non-negligible overhead. So, the second challenge is how to select candidates among massive topologies. We propose the lightweight candidate selection by dynamic programming. Instead of considering all topologies, we found networks with the fewest edges and each possible number of levels. Our multi-level network satisfies that the number of network edges equals n times the sum of di and the product di equals n. So we mathematically model the problem as a series of optimization problems, namely minimize the number of edges for each possible number of levels, subject to the constraint. And we propose a bottom-up dynamic programming algorithm to solve all problems at once with low overhead. In conclusion, topology optimizer outputs topology candidates each has the fewest edges and their corresponding number of levels. For function scheduler, the key challenge is how to meet all the scheduling requirements, namely 
maximize traffic localization, avoid transmission scragglers, and ensure load balancing. We propose the interleave complete bipartite graphs partitioning to address this challenge. Our design is based on the observation that the adjacent function levels in the network we generate can be partitioned into isolated complete bipartite graphs. First, as shown in the figure, we search the CBGs in the network and schedule functions in a CBG to the same worker for traffic localization. Because the CBG is a subgraph with the largest edge density, it can maximize traffic localization. Second, as shown in the figure, benefiting from the fact that the traffic at each communication level can fully localized. We adopt the same transmission media within a communication level to avoid stragglers. Third, as shown in the figure, we employ interleave the local memory and the remote storage across communication levels to decouple the network so that the size of CBDs are bounded to facilitate roller balancing. In conclusion, Function scheduler outputs configuration candidates. Each has the fewest edges and meets all scheduling requirements. For configuration modeler, the key challenge is how to select the optimal configuration from config candidates. We estimate the passing time of candidate configurations to find the optimal config. Specifically, we model analytics application characteristics and the serverless platform features to data passing time. On the one hand, because the data passing time of function and storage are overlapping, we use the maximum of them to model the data passing time for each communication level. On the other hand, because we employ interleave local memory and the remote storage transmission media, we use different model to, uh, to estimate the data passing time for S3-based and memory-based levels. Among the, parameter, among the parameters, the volume of intermediate data, DI, is only available at the runtime. Because there is a commonly a linear or nonlinear but deterministic relationship between the input data sites and the intermediate data sites, before running the jobs, we sample and profile the relationship between the input data sites and intermediate data sites to predict DI. In conclusion, configuration modeler outputs the optimal configuration and dispatch it to distribute coordinators. For evaluation, we run all experiments in an Amazon EC2 cluster that has 10 machines. Each machine has 96 vCPU, 384 gigabytes RAM, and 37.5 gigabits network bandwidth. We employed three widely used workloads to evaluate our system, namely TerraSort, TPCDS, and WorldCount. And we compared our prototype mean flow with baseline, first flow, and lambda, where baseline uses single level shuffle and transfers all data via S3. First flow adopts the intro memory shuffle, and the lambda implies the mesh-based two-level shuffle. The figure here shows the shuffle time and the storage cost of three workloads and different configurations. For example, and the TerraSort workload compared to baseline, fast flow, and lambda, mean flow improves the shuffle speed up to 14.1 times, 12.4 times, and three times, respectively. And the mean flow reduces the storage cost up to 98.84%, 98.31%, and 86% respectively. The figure here shows the job completion time of three workloads. For example, a TerraSort workload compared to baseline, first flow, and lambda, mean flow reduces the job completion time up to 85.16%, 83.25%, and 41% respectively. Uh, the figure here shows the load distribution of the various resource in the cluster and the TerraSort workload. In conclusion, all types of resource, including CPU utilization, memory utilization, receive throughput, and uh, sent throughput are load balanced among workers. So to conclude, we propose 
uh, mean flow, a high performance and cost efficient unified data passing framework for IO intensive stateful supplies. And the mean flow contains several key designs. First, we propose the progressively converging multi level shuffle to minimize the data passing requests. And second, we imply interleave complete bipartite graph scheduling to maximize traffic localization. Last, we estimate data passing time to select the optimal configuration. Please refer to our paper for detailed re results and analysis, and we open source our code in the project website. Thank you. I'd like to take your question and comments. <laughs>